Chester District Attorney, starring David Bryan. Mr. District Attorney, champion of the people, defender of truth, guardian of our fundamental rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And it shall be my duty as district attorney not only to prosecute to the limit of the law all persons accused of crimes perpetrated within this county, but to defend with equal vigor the rights and privileges of all its citizens. This is David Bryan. In a moment, we'll bring you another case from the files of Mr. District Attorney. But first, a word from our sponsor. David Bryan as Paul Garrett, Mr. District Attorney. A district attorney never knows what hour of the day or night his phone is going to ring with a crime report. The call in this particular case came at night. About an hour after a boy and girl drove down the main street of a small town on the outskirts of the city. That car still behind us? No, he kept right on the highway. What's it so jumpy about? The way he was tagging us, I thought it might be a police car. You are getting chicken, ain't you, Chuck? I just ain't looking for a trip back to the reform school, I told you. Oh, stop worrying. No one even knows this car stolen yet. <laughs> That's what you said. Well, how can it be? You saw the owner going to the movies. It wasn't more than an hour ago. It couldn't be out yet. Okay, Ruby, okay. Bonnie Joyride. Can't even stop to eat or go dancing or anything. You got any money? You, uh, didn't have no car either when we started. You ain't like you used to be, Chuck. We used to have lots of fun. Until you turned chick. Don't you go calling me that. I... I ain't got a gun, that's all. I got one, Chuck. Right here in my purse. Well, where'd you get that? Lifted it for my old man. There's a grocery store up ahead. See the sign? I see it. Can't have fun without any money. But it, 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 it's almost... Ten o'clock, the place must be closed. If it was closed, the sign wouldn't be lit. It's gonna stop or ain't you? Sure, I'm gonna stop. <laughs> see? Stock people still in there. No customers can see through the window. Counting up money from the cash register. <laughs> Ought to be a lot of it, Chuck, Saturday night. Stay here. Keep the motor running. Give me the gun. I want to come in with you. You what? Let me come, Chuck. I can handle the gun. You're crazy. Suppose he's got a gun, too. Oh, he's an old man. He'd be scared stiff. Chuck, let me. Well, you better not get rattled. Look who's talking. You're coming, or ain't you? All right, I'm But be careful. I always wanted to do something like this. Evening. Hello. Hi. I'm just getting ready to close. There's a car pulled up outside. Hold it with my wife. How can you get me? What can you do for me? Just hand over that money, you can Now, why don't you youngsters just run along before you get into trouble? We ain't running any place, mister. Now, you just get... Uh, where'd you get that gun? I made it out of old bottle top, stupid. Turn around. Put your hands up and stand there against those bottles. Get the money, Chuck. You're going to be sorry about this when you see the inside of the jail. Thanks for telling us. Because here's something you're going to be sorry about right now. Uh, Ruby! Ruby, why did you do it? I wanted to. Oh, come on, come on. we got to get out of here. Oh, of course. Look out. Check out for that broken glass. You're afraid, ain't you, Chuck? Stop looking back at it. Let's go. I didn't 
know if I'd have the nerve, but I did. I did. I always wondered what it would be like, Chuck. I always wondered. Party, but I thought... Oh, that's what I get paid for. What's that smell? Salad oil dressing with garlic. Victim fell against the display when he was shot. Broke quite a few bottles. Hmm. Is he the owner of the store? Yeah. Name's Malcolm Barnes. Wife found him just like he is, uh, just before 10 p.m. She probably saw the getaway car. Green convertible pulled away just as she got it. You have everything photographed? Yeah. Lab squad just left. The robbery motive? Looks that way. Cash register was rifled. Oh, uh, watch out for the broken glass, Chief. The floor's a bit slippery. More than the dressing, I guess. Mm, shot through the back three times. You or any of the squad walk through this stuff? No. No, Chief. Why? Stain marks leading toward the door as though somebody walked through this mess. No, I was careful to see that nothing was touched, Chief. You're the first one to be that close to the body. You're certain of that? Well, I was the first one here after his wife called. You got a flashlight? Uh, yeah. Let's have a look outside. The stains lead right to the door, all right. Lucky I told the men to keep the crowd back across the street. Yeah. Well, flash the light down here. Yeah. Yep. Same stains on the sidewalk. Runs right out here to the curb. Whoever killed him had some of that garlic oil on their shoes, all right. I don't suppose the dead man's wife got the license number of that green convertible she saw. No, no. She didn't know there was any reason for it until she got inside and saw what happened. You want to talk to her? Yes. You send her home? No, well, not to her own place. Went with a neighbor. She's a pretty old woman, she said. Uh, now she's taking it pretty hard. Oh, better let her rest in the morning. Is there a phone inside? Uh, yeah. There you are. Pay station on the wall there. I'll wait out my car. Garrett. Oh, Mr. Garrett. Sorry if I've awakened you. Oh, that's all right, Mr. Garrett. It is not time to call, though. It's after midnight. Well, I am sorry, but I'm out near the county line. It'll take me some while to get into the office, and I need somebody there to handle some reports I'll be asking for. Oh, I see. You'd like me to go into the office? If it isn't too much of an imposition. Not at all. Well, I should be in in about oh, an hour or so. Yes, sir. I'll be there. Chief, I was just coming in after you. Find something? Well, I don't know. The squad car just picked up a call from radio division. Somebody from the West End in town reported his car stolen while he was in the movies. What about it? Nothing, maybe. But the car was a green convertible. Call the radio division back. Tell them I want every squad in the city alerted to find that car. Mr. Garrett's been waiting for you. And what time? 3.20 a.m. Boy, am I big. Now, that's the life of a DA's assistant for you. We never sleep. On behalf of stenographers, accept my sympathy. Got anything on that car yet? No. Yes, Mr. Garrett? Have you heard from Harrington yet? He just came in. Be right in, Chief. He's hot tonight. I got held up at ballistics, Chief. Wait for the report. All right. What have you got? Now well, the gun was a 38 caliber police special. Oh, that's good timing to do us much good. You speak to the owner of the stolen car? Yeah. His story is straight enough. Left the car, went to a movie. Alone? Yeah, but he had his ticket stuff. Knew what the picture was all about. When he came out, he stopped for a hamburger, went to his car, and found it missing. You check him for a record? Yep. Nothing on him. Carpenter. Good job. Work steady. 
Uh-huh. Well, I'd better take the ballistic report down to gun records. See if they can talk with anything. All right. Excuse me. Yes, Miss Miller? There's a Sergeant Corbett from the 12th Precinct on the line. They found that stolen car. Put him on. Hello, Corbett. I've got that car, Mr. Garrett. Did you get the driver, too? No, sir. We found it abandoned. Where? On the west stand, about half a mile from the theater it was stolen from. A half a mile. Any way of telling how far it was driven? No, sir. Anything you indicate it might have been used for that killing out near the county line? Only what you told us to watch out for, sir. There are a few light oil stains on the floor, Matt. Not motor oil, either. Just the smell of garlic. That's what I wanted, Corbett. What's your location? Seven, the Roxbury Terrace. I'll be there in ten minutes. Sounds good. It is. Come on. You listen in? Yes, sir. Then you know where I'll be. Use radio division for contact. What about this ballistics report? Give it to Miss Miller. Take it down to gun records. See if they have any ideas. Yes, sir. And call the garage for a car. Tell them we're on our way down. Yes, sir. Well, this is the car. Just as we found it, Mr. Garrett. Seems we're not going to get any fingerprints from that steering wheel. Not with that cloth cover on it. Might get something from the dashboard or the inner door handle, but I don't know. Not often you pick up good prints on a car. Let me have your flashlight, honey. Uh, hey, here. Smell the garlic? Yes. Coming from the stains on the mat. Something else in here, too. Need some cleansing tissue. Watch that on it. Lipstick? Yeah. You just caught a flash of something else. Turn the light. What is it? This. Oh, Bobby Pen. Lipstick is rather light shade, too. Tim might have had a woman with him. Probably a blonde. Bobby Pen's and Tisha might belong to the owner's wife. Or his girl. I doubt that, Corbett. What makes you say that, Harrington? I saw the owner and his wife, Chief, remember? What about it? Woman's a brunette. Got one of those modern short hairdos. Not enough hair left to use a Bobby Pen. Well, to kill that storekeeper may wind up with a short haircut, too. I don't get you, Mr. Garrett. Get out before they go to the chair. This is David Bryan. Before we continue with Mr. District Attorney in the case of the Joy Ride murder, here's an important message I'd like you to hear. District Attorney. A storekeeper had been robbed and killed near the county line. The crime had been committed in an automobile stolen from and returned to the West End section of town, indicating that the killer lived somewhere in that section. The lipstick stain and bobby pin indicated a blonde woman accomplice. The leads were flimsy and not very hopeful until we got back to the office. Oh, Mr. Garrett, I was just trying to reach you through radio division. Something come up? That ballistics report you told me to take down the gun records? Yes. Well, Tommy Manuela just called from down there. Came across something he thought you might want to look into. What? Well, I've got it written down here. A um, man named Jim Hammer filed a report with Central Division last night just before midnight. Said a gun had been stolen from his house. What caliber? Same as a murder weapon. 38 police special. That could be something, Chief. Yes, I do. Did this Jim Hammer have his gun registered? Yes, his serial number and his permit number. Well, where does he live? Over in the West End. That ties in with the stolen car. Yeah, it certainly does. You'd better go downstairs, Harrington. Check this hammer for a record. Well, I already did that, Mr. Garrett. Well, good work, Miss Miller. We have nothing on him. Not in the criminal file. 
If there's something in the special police record... You mean he's a cop? Night watchman at the Penny Aircraft plant. As a matter of fact, he told Central Division he found the gun missing when he was getting ready to go to work last night. Couldn't find it in the drawer he usually keeps it in. What time is it now? Oh, oh uh, almost 11 a.m., Chief. Well, Hammer ought to be home from work by now. You get his address? Yes. 214 West Spruce. Good. You can go home now and get some sleep. Well, I'm not tired if you need me. If I do, I'll call you back again. And thank you very much for what you've done. Anytime, Mr. Garrett. Let's get downstairs before they send that car back to the garage, Arrington. Knock again, Harrington. There's somebody home, all right. There's a vacuum cleaner going in there. He probably can't hear you. Lean over the rail, wrap on the window. Okay. Yeah, there's a young girl in there. Got a towel wrapped around her head, cleaning up. Oh, miss. Hey, miss. That did it. She's coming. Yes? I'd like to speak to Jim Hammer, please. He ain't home. You know where we can find him? Working. Over at the ballpark. I thought he was the night watchman at the Finney Aircraft. Yeah, but he works at the ballpark, too, when they play Sunday home games. You look kind of young. You, uh, you're not his wife, are you? No, I'm his daughter, Ruby. Um... Well, thank you, miss. Uh, uh, can I, uh, give him a message or anything? No, we'll go over to the ballpark and talk to him. Well, uh, uh, can I tell him what it's about? No, in case you happen to miss him or something. It's all right, miss. We'll make sure to see him. Goodbye. Bye. Well, what do you think, Chief? I'll know better when Hammer tells us about that stolen gun, if it was stolen. Home team warming up on the field. They need it. The home team always does. What section did they say Hammer was on? Grandstand B, just up ahead. Oh, there's a man in uniform now. Hey, officers. Yeah? I'd like to talk to you for a minute. Your name Jim Hammer? Yeah. I'm Paul Garrett, district attorney. Oh, well, where are you sitting, Mr. Garrett? I'll get you some cushions. We're not here to see the game, Hammer. This is business. I understand you had a gun stolen from your home last night. Oh, that. Well, he shouldn't have called the district attorney onto a thing like that. It makes me feel kind of silly. What do you mean? Well, uh, the gun wasn't stolen at all. I guess I just didn't look sharp enough last night. I found it this morning, but in a different drawer from where I usually keep it. That gun you're carrying, right there in your holster? Yeah, that's it. You mean to say you just took a look in one drawer last night and reported the gun stolen without being sure? Well, I was sure last night. I was late for work and in a hurry. Guess I just overlooked it, that's all. How come you didn't let the police know you found it? Well... I suppose I should have, but I didn't think there was no rush. Besides, what's the harm? It's my gun, ain't it? Yeah, hey, move in between these two posts. Why? Do as he says, Hammer. Now, I'll have a look at that gun. All right. Don't you pull it. Just turn around. I'll take it myself. Okay, okay. Yeah. When did you fire this gun last, Hammer? I can't even remember the last time. I ain't had any call to fire. No, huh? Yeah. Smell this, Chief. It's been used all right. Not too long ago. You're crazy, I tell you. I, I, I ain't fired that gun in months. Somebody has. Replaced the cartridges, but didn't clean it. You'd better come with us, Hammer. Come with you? Where? To the county building. So we check on a few things. Check on what? Hammer, a storekeeper named Barnes was killed last night out near the county line. He was shot three times through the back. With a 38 police special. Are you saying I did it? I, I wasn't nowhere near county line last night. We know you filed a stolen gun report about midnight. But where were you between 9 and 11 o'clock last night? I was home sleeping. My daughter can tell you that. My... Go ahead, Hammer. What are you stopping for? My, my daughter wasn't home. I, I, I just remembered she, she was out when I got up to go to work. Then nobody saw you between 9 and 11. Oh. Nobody. 
But I was home, Mr. Garrett. You, you gotta believe me. And that gun ain't been fired. If we're wrong, you've got nothing to worry about. Just come along. Do you want me to take this gun to ballistics, Chief? Yes. Have them test fire it to compare the slugs with the ones taken out of the body. If this is the murder weapon, they'll know it. I tell you, it can't be. The lab doesn't make mistakes, Hammer. As a matter of fact, if you're telling the truth, there's a little test you can volunteer to take. The Fennelman test. Well, well, what's that? Just a matter of pouring a chemically treated wax on your hand. When they peel it off, it will show traces of nitrate if you fired a gun recently. I haven't, I tell you. I heard you. But I'd like to hear it from a police technician, just to be sure. No point in wearing yourself out, Hammer. Might as well sit down. How can I sit down? What are you keeping me for? You heard what the lab man said. My hands are clean. Was it no nitrate on them? We get a negative report on your gun when Harney comes in. You can go. There he is be... now. All right. Tell him. Tell him so I can get out of here, will you? What I'm going to tell him isn't going to get you out of here, Hammer. Here are the comparative photo blows of the slugs, Chief. What? What are you saying? In plain English, your gun's been identified as the murder weapon, Mr. Hammer. That's a lie. You weren't in bed sleeping at 10 o'clock last night. You were cruising around county line in a stolen car, and there was a woman with you. Uh, that ain't so, Mr. Garrett. I, I, I swear it ain't so. You'd better tell us the truth, Hammer, because we'll check out every statement you make. Do you go around with a blonde woman? The only blonde woman I ever went around with was my wife, and she died six years ago. That gun was missing from my house last night, then. It, it must have been. Somebody must have taken it, then put it back again. Oh, sure. Come outside a minute, Hammer. Watch up. I think he's telling the truth. Oh, gee. His wife was a blonde. She's and dead. And his daughter isn't. You mean the girl we saw this morning? She had a dust towel wrapped around her head. Her hair could be any color. Well, let's ask him. How old is your daughter, Hammer? Eighteen. Do you favor you or your wife? Like... I think her mother used to be, I guess. But what are you asking about her for? Was she out with you any place last night? No, no. She was out on a date. With who? How, how should I know? All I know is she wouldn't get into trouble. I've heard parents say that same thing in a hundred courtrooms. First you tried to pin this thing on me. Now it's my daughter. Are you crazy? She's only a kid. She's also a blonde, and she also had access to your gun. No ordinary thief will take it away and then return it. You will shoot her and I'll... Take it easy, Mr. Take it easy if you want this arm in one piece. Let him go, Hangman. Come on, Hammer. We're going out to your house. He'll shoot in the closet here. Oil stain up. Mm. A little of that garlic smell, too. Oh, I found this in the pocket of the girl's coat. Amusement park picture of a little some boy. Let me see that picture. Why, what's the matter? Don't you remember this boy, Hank? Yeah. yeah, sure. He sent him to reform school three years ago. Uh, Chuck Allen, Grand Theft Auto. Right. My daughter wouldn't go out with anybody like that. Oh, of course not, Hammond. She just got a habit of posing for pictures with people she wouldn't go out with. Almost midnight. I... I ought to be going to the aircraft. Not tonight, Hammer. Put all the lights out, Hines, and we'll wait for Miss Hammer to come home. Coming down the street, Chief. I hear him. I don't think it would work, Hammer. I may mean, come in, so be quiet. Understand? Yes, yes. I can't see nothing, Ruby. I'm out of light. You wait there a moment at the minute. I hear all you at once again. Well, what did I do now? What's the good of having me think of a standard? Well, can't you wait a while? I ain't even got a job. I start spending money. People are going to wonder where I got it. All right. But I ain't waiting. 
to go out with somebody else. Somebody who's got a car every night. No way to say they can't. Ruby, Ruby, shut up. Who's that? Come here. Let go of that door, Chuck. Almost missed. Who are these guys? What are you home for? They're after him. The, the thief. Quiet, Hammer. I didn't do nothing. I, let me go. Oh, still. Yeah. Quite a roll of bills for a boy who isn't working. I, I found it. Where, Chuck? In a cash register out near the county line after you killed the storekeeper? So that's why you wanted my father's gun. Well, what? To tell him, Ruby. If he had my gun, tell him. Last night, he wanted to borrow it. Just fun, he said. Then he stole a car and he made me go with him out the county line. I, I didn't know what he was going to do. She's lying. I didn't shoot him. She did. She's only a little girl. You can prove he did it, Mr. Garrett. He give him the same test she gave me on his hands. Give it to both of them. But, what kind of test? As they pour wax on your hands, honey. It, it can tell if you fired a gun. Rumi. I don't know what part of this bedroom. Bring it in, Harrington. I... If you're looking for your father's gun, you'll see it later, Ruby. Down at police headquarters. I didn't mean that. I didn't want to hurt anybody. I got everybody came at me. Better think that over before you tell it to a jury, Ruby. Or they'll have a hard time figuring how a man got shot in the back. All right, Harrington. Let's get him downtown. This is David Bryan. I hope you enjoyed this case from the files of Mr. District Attorney. I'll be back in just a moment after this message from our sponsor. remember the case very well. Chuck Allenby turned state witness and made a full confession. He is now serving a life term. Ruby Hammer was convicted of murder in the first degree and is serving a life sentence. Now, this is David Bryan inviting you to join us when we present our next case based on the facts of crime from the file of Mr. District Attorney. Mr. District Attorney was originated by Phillips H. Lord. <laughs> 